in this video we are going to see uh, what are all the things associated with uh, interfacing the primary memory with microprocessor CPU. So to interface memory with microprocessor, the necessary steps are connect the secure address lines of the address bus to the address lines of the memory chip. It has to correctly identify from which address the data has to be read or write. That is what the first point is saying. So correct the secure address lines of the address bus to the address line of the memory chip. Then decode the remaining address lines of the address bus, generate the chip select signal, and connect the signal to select the chip. This is the case when more than one memory chip is on that. What are we going to do? So we will see, uh, I'm going to talk about this again later. Generate control signal, MEMR and MEMR. If it is a reading signal, memory read, then you have the, uh, it, is, it will be combined with IO slash MR and RT bar to generate this MEMR. If it is a memory write, then it will be combined with IO, W bar and IO slash MR. So, what is address decoding? The process of address decoding results in identifying the register as well. It has to identify a particular correct register, particular register, unique. So in order to do that, a unique pulse should be generated for a given address. For example, the memory chip given is right 11. So what is this 11? So, Address lines are connected to memory chip A0, A11. The remaining four address lines must be decoded. This can be done by using only NAND gate or CPAD. I will show you what is it does in there. So, uh, before going through this, we will see what is the. Uh, first, we will see some of the concepts of uh, memory chip. So, let us imagine uh, there are four registers on there. We will go with a very minimum register. Uh, one, two, three, four, four registers. And each register can store eight bit of information. With this uh, understanding, we will go further. So it has input buffer and output buffer. This is both read and write. Okay. So um, eight inputs, uh, it has eight inputs so that uh, whichever register is selected, in that this eight, data, eight, eight bit data will be written. Or read from that. So if it is going to be read, then the particular register is selected and data in that will be placed on the buffer, which in turn will be read by the respective office lines. Uh, and in turn, they will be placed in the data. This will be enabled with the write signal and this will be enabled with the read signal. Now, among this register, which is the correct register from which we want to read? For that, we have this address line, A0, A1, and we have one more. Two to go decoder. So what it will do if there are two inputs, then if two power two is equal to four. So four output it will generate. Two inputs and four output. So what are they? See the combination. Zero 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 one one zero one one. If it is zero zero, then uh, it will uh, this address says for register zero. If it is zero one, then it will read or write from register one and so on. So there are four registers to that address when you have two address lines. Okay. Now imagine a case where you have the same eight bit is treated as four bit four bit. Okay. This register here, the register in this, there are four registers, and four all the four registers have can store four bit of information. Same way here. So this is a single chip. Imagine this is a single chip. Suppose the same thing is divided after two chip, two memory chips are there. But each memory chip has a capacity of 4 bit 4 data. Can store. That is 4 registers, and each register can store 4 bit of the same way here. Now, the same setup is printed up like this. Now, uh, suppose I want to read from register 3. So, whether it is register 3 from this chip or from this chip, how it will be decided? Because it is also having A0, A1, same A0, A1. If I select one one, whether that one one is for here or for this. So that is what we have to do. We are it has to select. That's what chip select. So now coming to this point, decode the remaining address of the bus to generate the chip select signal and correct the signal to select the chip. 
So we have to select the correct chip, whether it is from this chip or this chip. So as more it will have to be identified, we need to adjust the the combination to identify the stuff what we have seen. If two chips are there, how to identify? Other than two lines to address individual letter, we need one more address line which select between these two. So we need another address line which select between either this chip or this chip or that chip. So this gives a concept of chip select, which in turn helps in expansion of memory. So if we are able to select between two memory chips, we can have more memory chips and we can select among them by giving more uh, chip selects. So that is that gives an idea of expandable memory. We can keep on expanding the memory. So first we'll see two memory chips four with four registers each and chip select. This now the previous one, what is the solution for that? That is what we are going to see. Let us take this case where we have eight registers. We know to select. So when there are eight registers, it is two power three. Okay, so totally eight registers. So you need three input, three address lines are needed. So this combinations can identify uniquely eight different registers. Okay, then it has a read and WR lines are connected as they are active low here it is select. When there is a bubble and the active low means you have to give a zero, but when it is entering into the chip, the chip has to be selected. So that time when it enters the data, it will be one. So if you give zero due to this power, it gets converted to one and the power goes on. Always the power will be uh, on only. So how you are going to give that is what later. So if you give zero only, here it will go as one. The same thing. So uh, these are output IO lines. You can connect this uh, and get the data. If it is going to read the data from R6, then you have to place this address like 0, 1, 1. Now, the read, can you have to raise the read signal? Then the data present here is will be read and placed in the input output line. Suppose I want to write something, then I have to, for example, in R3, then I have to place 0, one, oh, sorry, 1, 1, 0 in this address line so that this register will be selected and raise the uh, WR signal, that is, if G, the active low so that it will be selected. And the data present in the input lines will be returned into this part. This is how it goes. Now the same register, if we are going to split, okay, as four registers, four registers. So for example, R0, 1, 2, 3. This will be one chip. And from R4 to R7 will be another chip. How we are going to address? Now it is considered as two different chips. Okay, so now how we are going to select them? So A0 to A1, A0 to A1, same address lines. Here if you select the last lower order bit, 0, 0 is select R0, 0, 1, R1, 1, 0, R2, 1, 1, R3. Same way here for this also, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1. Now how, uh, then we have one more address line for A2. So if you pass 0 here, if A2 line is 0, which in turn gets converted into 1 and this chip will be selected. So A2 is 0. If it is 0, then 0, 0, 0 will select this. 0, 0, 1 will select this and so on. So this chip will be selected and within that, this, this address line will have its type and this combination will select uniquely a particular address register. If you give 0, this is what happens. So 0, then it gets converted to 1. So now, if I want to select this, I have to give a 1. Okay, when I give a 1, what happens? This will get converted into 0 and the power will not go inside the chip and this chip will not be selected. Whereas, giving a 1 will go here, get converted into 0 because of this bubble. 1, it becomes 1. Again, it becomes, sorry, 1, it becomes 0. And 0 becomes, because of this conversion, again 1. And this will be selected. This chip will be selected. So when you say that, A2 is 1, 1, 0, 0 will be selected. 1, 0, 1 will be selected. And so on. So by using the third address line here, we'll be able to select either this chip or this chip. So which is used for selecting the uh, chip select. Which is used for selecting the chip through the chip select signal. So this is how 
uh, you uh, with the extra line. Suppose I have three other slides. Uh, with the extra line, we can get that among the number of chips. So, addressing eight register with four address lines. Now, we'll see this. Assume we have four address lines and two number of chips. So, if now we have one more extra line. So, how to the same previous configuration with this? How to select if we have one more address line? Now, we can pass it for uh, gate uh, using this uh, LAN gate or uh, here. Uh, what happens? A2 and A3 are connected here, and A2 is the same way. So, uh, a not A1 are lower or bit. Anyway, this selects the four individual registers. Here also the same. But this is what going to decide whether we are going to select this chip or not. So both can be used for chip select. Oh, when I give both 0, 0, it gets converted as 1, 1, which in turn generated output 1. But here, due to this bubble, it becomes 0. Okay? So 0 again becomes 1. So now this chip will be selected. So when both are zero, this chip will be selected. That is what here we are seeing. So this is A0, A1, A2, and A3. Now, suppose I want to select this, how to do that? So here it is zero, and here it is one. See here, A2 is zero, and A3 is one. Now, in this case, when one, this is one, here it is zero, so it becomes one. One, one now, becomes zero, zero becomes one. So now this chip will be selected. Based on this combination. Whereas if you give the same combination here, it will not work. It will select only this. So likewise, you can select the memory chip based on the combination giving to the extra address line. That is the one which is necessary. Even if you take here, we if we have uh, 16 address lines and we have only eight registers, so we can use only two or three regis three address lines for selecting among the eight registers and the remaining lines. There are 16 address lines plus 3. So, remaining 13 address lines are used for selecting many chips. Okay. So, memory chip M1 is selected and A3 and A2 are 0. Address range is also. So, memory chip M2 is selected when A3 equal to 1 and A2 equal to 0. So, address ranging from 100 to 101 is A to B. So, in this case, we will see what is meant by address range. Let's take the memory address range of the given memory. Okay. Uh, this is a 256 byte register, which means 256 registers are there. And if you see that there are 8 bits, each register can hold 8 bits. So it is 256 into 8. That will be the capacity of this memory chip. So now we'll see how, what is the address range of capacity here. So here if you say A0 to A7, because it needs only uh, 256 which will mean 2 power 8 is enough. Okay, so 8 registers are there. So what I will be doing with the remaining address line? Imagine we have 16 address line, A0 to A50. So only A0 to A7 is needed for selecting the individual lines. Now here, A2, A50. Now if I say the address mapping, let us say give first all zeros. First we give all zeros. And then here, if we say all are zero. I have to give 0 divided by address. So when I give 0, here it becomes 0, 1. So all becomes 1. In turn, it becomes 0. Again, it gets converted to 1. So this chip will be selected. Which means all must be 0. So here, here. Here also, again, if this is a lower order. That is 0, 0, 0. Now, it range till what this address range range. It starts from all 0 to till what? So here, if you say, you can give all ones here. Okay. So 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and so on till all ones. But here, in the it will be zeros only. I have already zero. So if you calculate that, you can take it as 4, 4 digits. For this, it is 0, this is 0, 0, 0. Same way here it is. Yeah, yeah. But here, 0, 0. So the address range of this particular uh, memory chip is 000 h to 00 h. If we take this figure, the same thing, but here we have given direct connection. All the others are 0. So here all zeros and 1. So if we take that, see here, a 50. 1 and all are 0. And then this. So a 7 to it is the range from here. So now if we take this 00 to fr, but here it will be 0 and this is 8. 
to a zero 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 h to a zero a zero f of h to be the address end of this uh, particular. 